Hey guys, it's Sam, and in this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Artist Loft Mixed Media Giant Art Kit, which is, oh god, very big and very heavy. <laughs> and I say unboxing because I've kind of already opened it and looked inside it, and in fact, this video is kind of a little bit late and overdue because this was a Hanukkah gift from one of my cousins last year. I'm really sorry, thank you for the gift. <laughs> But anyway, oh gosh. <laughs> but anyway, I haven't actually seen that many videos on it, so I thought I'd go ahead and touch on it in case any of you guys have seen this over at Michael's, or I don't know if they sell anywhere else, but it's definitely there at Michael's, and just take a look inside and see what it has to offer. So without further ado, let's look at this baby. All right, so probably the first thing that you might have noticed is this. Oh boy, this thing is quite big and it's actually quite uh, heavy. <laughs> the case is really nice though, I like the case. It's nice and hard. Feels like it's really protecting the stuff on the inside. I wish these, I wish these uh, little clasps were a bit better. They feel a bit cheap, but whatever. <laughs> so let's open this sucker up and uh, see what's inside, even though I already know what's inside. But anyway, ta-da! <laughs> Now, like I said, everything is basically kept exactly how this box uh, was when I first got it. Like, this this thing, still in here. <laughs> um, I only barely used uh, the colored pencils, specifically the, the watercolor ones. I used these like a touch, but it was mostly these ones that I did. And it was like a tiny little <laughs> sketch, so it wasn't really much of anything. But anyway, here's all the colored pencils. This is exactly the order they come in. This is just normal regular colored pencils and then these are uh fancy watercolor pencils and the normal colored pencils are just like a regular <laughs> spherical uh barrel and the watercolor ones <laughs> it has a, a hexagon sided barrel probably one of the most fun things about this set is actually these little tabby things because you pull them up oh my god <laughs> that's the, that's honestly like my favorite part <laughs> I'll show some other shots in a second, I just kind of want to show the whole thing in a broad sense and then we'll get nice close-ups. That's how it opens up, I'll go ahead and open the other side. Get a nice little airplane as we, uh, as we open it. Oops, stay in there. I do wish these kind of things gripped a little bit better. The, the holding, the things that hold the pencils are plastic. So it comes with this quite thick large booklet thing. I haven't really looked that much inside it so we'll glance at that in a bit. So it has a whole bunch of brushes. Uh, the tips are actually a little bit bent. I wish they had covers for them just you know from shaking around the case they could slip. But yeah so let's go ahead and get a nice close-up because I know it's really hard to see everything as it is right now. All right so this is just a bit of a close-up of the inside on the left hand side. We have two palettes. They're both plastic they're a little bit tricky to get out, which is kind of unfortunate. There we go. Just a regular hard plastic. And at least you know they'll stay in there once you get them in. <laughs> and it comes with 10 different uh, acrylic paints. It's a uh, 12 milliliter tube for each one. It has six different... Oops, sorry for the squeaky sounds. It's uh, six different brushes. I like that they have uh, different sizes, which is nice. I still wish they had something to cover it because I'm really upset that the tips are a bit bent, but what can you do? It also has this little tray, which I'm assuming is supposed to be for your water. <laughs> has a eraser, which I haven't even opened yet. The plastic is still all wrapped on it. No idea what kind of eraser. I think it's just some generic kind. Then has a pencil sharpener for two different sizes, which is kind of nice. All right, so over on the right-hand side, we have 24 oil pastels. There are 12 6 milliliter oil paints, and then... 12 6 milliliter watercolor paints. Here's a little glance at uh, all the acrylic paints that it comes with, just in case you wanted a bit of a closer look. <laughs> I haven't actually tried any of the other things aside from just the watercolor pencils and a little bit of the normal colored pencils, so I have no idea how um, the rest of the products perform. All right, with a little bit of uh, <laughs> Tearing out these things were glued to the bottom. Um, I managed to get out this so you guys can get just a little bit of a better of a look at um, the oil pastels, the oil paints, and the watercolors. One little nitpick I guess I have is I wish that these uh, were kind of differentiated in some way. They're just the 
the packaging of both the oils and the watercolors look exactly the same. So it's like, oh, let me just get some white uh, <laughs> watercolor and you go to pick it up and you start to use it and oops, it's oil. But I like that it comes with a nice variety. So, I mean, that's great. It's definitely, seemingly, I, again, I don't know the quality of the products themselves, but it's seemingly a nice starter kit. Like they really do come with quite a variety of stuff that you can use. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this back and then we can go ahead and take a look at the pamphlet that came with this. All right, so here is the pamphlet. It has 40 pages. It said it has artist tools and techniques. So let's go ahead and look inside. Table of contents reads the basics, oil pastels, colored pencils, watercolor pencils, watercolor paints, acrylic paints, and oil paints. And so I'm assuming just all these products, it's giving you tips and tricks on how to use them. We have a little bit of basics of just drawing, give some nice examples, a bit of color theory. They have multiple languages, which is nice. Looks like they have sample exercises, different like things you can try out with these tools. It seems like quite the extensive booklet. I haven't read it <laughs> yet, but just judging by the pictures and uh, the airplane flying over, it, it has seemingly quite a lot of useful stuff in it. I'm honestly most excited to try out their watercolor paints just to see how that goes. So that's it for the booklet. And yeah, that's that's it. That's the whole kit. A whole lot of stuff to try out and uh, explore. Now just a quickly based off of my experience with having used the watercolor pencils and just a bit of the colored pencils, I don't think the list price is worth it. <laughs> Artist Loft is also kind of known as being a more cheapy, not the best quality brand, so that's something to keep in mind. So if you do want to get this kit, I would highly recommend going in with some kind of coupon, preferably something that's like 50-60% off, if possible, just because it is Artist Loft and um, yeah, I, I don't think the, the value is really there, but I haven't tried any of the other supplies, so who knows, maybe the quality is just freaking amazing there. <laughs> but if you guys want to see a video on me trying out any of these products or me reviewing any of the products inside of this kit, you can let me know in the comments down below. So I'm going to go ahead and pack up this kit and we'll talk in another few seconds. That's pretty much it for this uh, unboxing of this giant, massive, really heavy uh, art supply. Again, I just don't think that it's worth the $60 just from my experience using Artist Loft products, as well as my very small amount of experience with the watercolor and colored pencil products. But if you guys would like me to review any of the products inside of this box, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see like a whole huge <laughs> mixed media uh, thing of I somehow use all all of them in like one piece or if you just want to see a breakdown of each medium like just a piece with watercolor and then me talking only about the watercolor paints or I don't know some sort of combination you guys can let me know in the comments down below and if you guys have this art kit or if you've used any of the artist loft products inside of this kit feel free to let me know how that went in the comments down below I'm very curious I haven't used too many artist loft supplies in the past so if you guys have tried them out I am very curious as to as to how that went for you guys, what you think about them. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video interesting. So I hope all is well with you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!